The commercial real estate industry is very dependent on relationships and contacts. What we call, of course, the old boy network, and it was very much an old boy's network at that time. The women who started out in business many years ago recognized that if they didn't take this and lead this effort, no one else was gonna do it. The organizations on the East Coast were called typically crew because commercial real estate women in Washington had helped get a lot of them started. The West Coast groups were called Women in Commercial Real Estate, Wicker. The greatest challenge, credibility, money. It was all volunteer. Linda was working in her basement with two neighbors part-time and her husband was helping her. And now that I look back at it, we didn't realize it so much then, but the most technological thing, tool we had was a fax machine. I didn't start using email until 98. So Linda and I were on the phone three hours a day, four hours a day, faxing madly back and forth. Long distance was very expensive, especially when you're calling during the day on business rates. Our directory was a big, thick book printed and nailed, organized by chapter and indexed by specialty. And the other challenge was just growing the organization, not only adding members and chapters, but adding uh, a belief in the organization that we weren't some little women's group, we were an important part of the commercial real estate industry. Why you're here, according to your newsletter that I read, top 10 reasons, number one said networking, networking, networking. Our conventions are about several hundred MN crew members and guests getting together from 29 locations nationwide, turning to each other and saying, yes, I know exactly what you mean or yes, I can help you with that, or give me your fax number and I'll send you that information next week. And when an NN crew member says she'll send you information, you know you'll get it. The new foundation has been spectacular. We've had very modest goals of only trying to raise $30,000 and we're almost at $60,000 now. So it shows that our members know how to be generous and they've done it all in less than 30 days. These are the future leaders. That first study was transformational to the image of this organization. That was actually an incredible moment for this organization to go from being so internally focused to being this is about our influencing the industry. And we are so proud that we were the first organization to dedicate time, energy, and resources to gender diversity in the industry. The days of being the only woman at the negotiating table are over. Well, the research shows that diverse teams make better decisions for long-term success for companies. Then we got invited to be a part of the Real Estate Roundtable. That year that I was president was our first year truly being seated on the roundtable. That put us in front of everybody. All of a sudden, the, the barriers were broken down between market to market because everyone was in this open forum together. And it's where our members can share uh, business leads, resources with one another. Crew Network provides best-in-class leadership development, professional development, as well as the latest industry intel as a result of the intelligence that our members bring. Since I've been involved with Crew Network, I've transformed our company strategic plan. I've transformed our company culture and both of those things came from information I gained at Crew Network. This is the power of our crew. crew, crew.